Hello everyone and welcome to Cow Creations Cards. Today we'll be making these gorgeous little Christmas ornaments. Aren't they just adorable? We've got a round one and an oval shaped one and a honeycomb. Now I'll go through a list of some of the items we'll be using. First up we'll be using our mini ornaments embellishments. These are just super adorable. Yeah. We'll also be using our mini tinsel trim, the silver. You can use the red if you like, but today I'll be using the silver only because it matches our little, our little baubles. We'll also be using our um, Merry Music Specialty DSP here. Now all of these items I've just mentioned can be found in the holiday catalogue. Uh, you'll also need your layering ovals and your layering circles. You'll need the two largest, the largest of the ovals and the largest of the circles. Now with your DSP, you will need to have two sheets cut in half. You can run two sheets at a time, two pieces like so, at a time, through your big shot. Now I'm not going to uh, do all the die cutting in that in front of you, that would be just boring. But I will show you the layout that I used. Now you will need 12 pieces of each shape to get a good honeycomb. So this will give you six for circles and six for ovals and then you've got another two sheets. So you will get 12 of each. Alright, I'll just pop this out of the way. Once you've cut your circles and your ovals, what you need to do is to start with fold them in half like so score them fold them in half score them now you need to do the same with all of your ovals fold them in half score once they're scored Get your multi-purpose glue, okay, and now we're going to glue them together in a particular pattern. First off, you do sort of central on either side in the middle, okay, just like so. And then we go on the edges, center, and edges. Okay. Excuse me, and I'll be back. Once you've glued that together in that pattern, you have to open it up all the way around. Give it a good stretch. like so. Now we'll get our tinsel ready. Now basically you cut your mini tinsel trim to 40 centimeters in length. Okay then you thread on your little mini bauble, mini ornament I should say. We will tie this off just by tying it in a knot and making it up as close to the end as possible. We want that knot to be as small as possible too. Now we're going to trim that like so. Okay, now we're going to put that knot into the center like so. Now we've got all our honeycomb. You see what the pattern I showed you makes? So where it's glued in the center and on the edges, and then where it's glued in the in the middle of those two spots. We're going to lay this in here like so. And then we're going to this is the two here and here we have to make this our 
here, here, and here. Now I am going to run a bit of glue on either side, just up here. Now that's to keep everything shut once it's done. Oops, excuse me. Now if you've got any, um, goodness gracious me, paper clips, now's the time to get them out. paper clips here to hold everything shut just while it's all set here. and I will poke this down a little bit on the back of a brush down into there So long here, fiddly, fiddly. Okay. And into this corner as well. Now, all going to plan. That will dry by itself. Can I push that down there a bit further? Okay, wiping glue off my fingers. Pop that aside to dry. Now the circle has a slightly different pattern. In the centre, it's just like so. On the outside, it is here and here. Okay, and then we're stacking our little pieces on top like this. Give you a push. We open the centre like so. And you do that all the way through until you've got all dozen pieces stacked together like this. And again, give it a good stretch. I love these. I like the black one too. Well, that's something I forgot to mention. <clears throat> when you're putting these together, alternate your patterns. The... Um, This one here has got music on one side and words on the other. So when you're folding them, folding so you've got different patterns showing like so. And that way when you open, you have different things showing inside your honeycomb. Now again, <clears throat> your thread Got glue on my fingers still. My apologies. Threading this through. The tug. Don't be afraid to give it a good tug. Now stretch it, pull it, it will come through. I wasn't sure whether it would, but it does. Now it's not going to do it because I'm doing it on camera. There we go. Just like so. Just a little bit of perseverance. <clears throat> now if you don't want to have that knot here, and you're happy to have that knot at the top, then that's fine too. It will close a little bit better. That knot at the top. Make sure it's nice and tight. Give it a trim. And I 
I still have glue on my fingers. I love glue, but it sticks to me all the time. <clears throat> so basically, again, we're just laying that in like so. Now with the pattern, the gluing pattern, because we're gluing the insides of our little folds here this way, that would mean these pieces are glued here and here. So we'll pop our glue here and here, lay our little ornament in, and come on, yeah, and I will grab my paper clips. Leave that to set. Oops, pulled that too hard, didn't I? There we go. Just like so. Leave that to set to the side. Now, if you're not sure. that shut. A bit of pinch and if you've got another paper clip spare like I do, pop that paper clip in there. That will just keep that in position. Now if you want, you can also tie a little knot at the top, but I don't think it's necessary. And there's your little mini ornament. Two of them. Now, the next step of this is to add silver around the edges. So we're going to have our silver embossing powder and our Versamark ink. This is super simple to do. I'll only do the top layer just to show you. See how that dries? Beautifully. It's handy to have those paper clips. Now what we're going to do here, well that was what I was going to show you, totally your choice, but if you have them, I think they look really pretty. Um, they're like little bead spaces, well they are bead spaces, you can get them from any craft store that sells beads, that's what I mentioned about tying a knot in the top, just like so. Pulling, pulling, pulling. And that just keeps all of that together. I reckon. I'm pleased I remembered that. You can just tie a normal knot. This one here has just been tied without the spacer. So what I'm doing with the Versamark is I'm just going around to the outside, touching the edges only, like so. Then I'm going to hold this and then I'm going to just dip that into the embossing powder. Like so. Now excuse me for just a sec. It's a nice little bit of glitter and shine when it twirls in the sun or in the light that you have on a Christmas tree. So that's basically how you make your Christmas ornaments. Thank you very much for your time. Bye for now.